right. Apparently, we're going to play a game. We are. Yeah. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. O what do you think about that? FG. <laughs> cool. It's fun. And a lot of these questions I've asked the others that have been on the show, so it'll, mm. it'll be fun. Well, I'm not special. It'll cool be, that. you're not special, and oh. it'll be a lot of fun. All right. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. First celebrity crush. Well, first would probably be Amy Jo Johnson, Pink Power Ranger. Come on. That was the first. That's way back in the day. Yeah, that's way back and in the day. And fun fact, I ended up doing a movie with another Pink Power Ranger, Aaron Cahill, and I didn't know that until like two-thirds of the way through the movie. You didn't know she was a no, Power Ranger? No, dude. Oh, I knew, I, even I knew she was this a Power Ranger. This would blow your mind, but I don't like, we're not walking around talking to each other about like, hey, what's on your resume? No. Pink Ranger Time Force! It just came up like organically, and I was like, wait, whoa, 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 hold yeah. on a second. What? Yes, so, yeah, Ranger. Pink Power Ranger. Yep. That was amazing. Hi, Aaron. I miss your face. All right. Um, I think I already know the answer to this, but others might not. Favorite job before getting into showbiz? Ooh. Um, I really like, I mean, I've always like been a handyman thing, so I like working with my hands, and I like that job. But I had a restaurant gig at Sushi Roku in Santa Monica, and I loved that job. It was great. What'd you like about it? Food. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there was a sushi chef there that I was pretty close with, and we had like an arrangement. You know, I'd make sure that you got a little bit of this, and I got some fish, and, nice. and it was pretty cool. And I love sushi, so it was great. Okay. An employee discounted a sushi restaurant is like. If you had a fragrance, what would it be called? Musk. <laughs> well, that might be what it smells like. That was gonna be my second question. Let's just go with it. I don't like have it? much of a sense of smell. No. Like, kind of not at all. I think if you come out with a fragrance, you should call it Fortunate Wanderer. That feels weird. That just really it's like you want to smell like totally, a fragrance. I can totally, I can totally see the bottle, but the name doesn't have to be the flavor. <laughs> doesn't have to be the flavor. It doesn't have to be the flavor of the. <laughs> oh, thing. we got an R on it this it time. It doesn't. Super oh, Mario. Oh, wow. It's the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. You know what? Show. You know what's gonna happen after this game? We're gonna plug in that Nintendo that I that I brought with me. Hey, by Zanos. Mm. Your worst habit that you'll never break. I hate myself. I have a really powerful self-deprecation complex, but I'm, I'm, I'm working on the whole never break thing. I'm trying to get a hold of this inner monologue thing and teach mm. it to speak to me a little kinder. Hey, it's the whole truth and nothing but the truth, and that's what you're speaking, so Isn't I? that's okay, all right? What app do you waste the most time on? Once upon a time, I would probably say Instagram. I'm gonna take a massive step back into the abyss from all social media for a little while. So these days, probably Pokemon Go. Nice. Yeah. Okay. That was gonna kind of go into my other question that you're a gamer. Yes. So what's your go-to video game? All of them. All of them? Um, Last of Us, since everybody's talking about the show lately, I love that game. It's in my top five video games ever made. It's a fantastic story. The first one, the second one is an abomination. Fight me on it. <laughs> Three things that you must do every day. I I like to contribute something to myself physically, so I'll, I'll usually will do something exercise-wise. So, you come here often? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, to do something like that to contribute to myself physically. Okay. I'll, do something to contribute to myself mentally, so I'll read something or something like that. Nice. I, I don't know, something like something to expand one's mind, and then something to expand myself professionally. Out of all the Hallmark characters that you've played, who do you think you're most like? Mmm, Two Tickets to Paradise. Josh. Yeah. Oh my Josh. Like, you're like Josh. Oh my Josh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my cool. Josh. Oh, oh my Josh. God. Okay. Something that you've auditioned for that you did not get that you really, really wish you had. I was very, very close to being Magnum P.I. Really? That's like one of my favorite shows. It would have been rad. I was close to being that dude. I mean, it would have been fun, man. Oh, it would have been fun. It's okay. Geez. No hate for what happened. It just It's a yeah. thing that happened. I, got, I, I was there. And Any I others? The You've boys. For. Twice. Really? I was almost the deep on The Boys season one. And then Eagle the Archer season two, I think. Swamp Thing was an almost. Oh, okay. 
Um, a million years ago, I don't know how almost is almost, but we went through several renditions. Before The Flash became a show, it was a short <gasps> arc on yes, Arrow. Yes, yes. I got called back for that one okay. many times. It, like a bunch of stuff, man. Magnum was... was that was probably the one that I, I was the most bummed about. Last, <laughs> last question. All right, the strangest thing that you know too much about. Probably at this point, like metals and rocks and stuff, which typically involves me going into the shop or something like that, you know? Okay. So that's kind of been the thing these days.